Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com and these are my top three big mountain backcountry boots from 32 for the 2020 season. Wow, these backcountry big mountain boots are pretty badass. <laughs> uh, overall, these are really great boots. They're very durable, rugged, and of course, supportive. And uh, they, uh, they kind of command performance for anyone who rides them because they're so they're so stiff <laughs> uh, but there's some kind of unique properties to each of them if you're a hard charging rider that's intermediate to advanced level and ability and uh, one like kind of like premier performance these three boots are going to be great options in front of you is this the team two the team three and the brand new nicholas Mueller. New layer snowboard boots. Uh, I'm going to talk about their similarities, their differences, and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to figure out which boots are best for you. Uh, kind of to just uh, start it out uh, with some of those similarities. The first one is they all feature in their liners something called the heel hold kit. 32 allows for there to be a, a little pockets where you can place these little rings that are either three millimeters thick or five millimeters thick uh, around the ankle uh, for a more secure and better fit so you don't get heel lift in that little heel pocket. Uh, there's also articulation in the upper zones of the uh, shell material that allow for less pinching and material bunching underneath your ankle strap, allowing for the, the shell panels actually to last longer. They also feature tongue tension systems on the 3D molded tongues, which allow for all of these lace systems to have an interweaved style panel that connects both the mid-step loop to the 3D molded tongue to draw the tongue into that heel pocket, which is really, really great. Um, and they all have intuition style liners that have heat moldable properties. These are thermo heat moldable. You can wear them four to five times, and of course they're gonna gradually mold to your feet, or we can bring them into our shop and get them heat molded here. Now their differences kind of start in the fit series. The Team 2 is part of the Performance Fit series. You'll see that in this liner. And then the Team 3 and the Mueller are part of the Elite Fit series. And you'll notice like a, a, a great difference here. This is all Intuition style foam. This is Intuition foam plus Energy foam. That's what's represented in the color orange. And it actually has some kind of like rebound properties. It's, it doesn't break in or break down as quickly as what you find in the performance fit. Now these are the two of the like, kind of top level liners from 32. There's also the team liner and the team fit series and then the comfort fit and fit series underneath these. So these are definitely high end. You'll see um, the performance fit has lateral and media support panels, a little bit of a backstay and a power strap that you see on top as well as the Elite Liner, um, but you'll see that most of it is just energy foam with perforations for more breathability. Now inside each of these liners is gonna be a different style footbed. Now this is a triple dense style footbed. There's extra cushioning in the heel area, a nice support arch and heel cradle. Uh, but this one's actually pretty unique because it has the energy foam style material instead of uh, evolution style foam. Has a nice little heel cradle pocket. But then there's this in, instep section for uh, your arch. And each one of these boots comes with four different thicknesses of an arch support, ranging from very small, what you'll find here, all the way into extra large, which is very, very supportive. Now, what's interesting is that I actually just got a pair of the Mule Airs, did an unboxing video on how to do a uh, heat, how to heat mold your uh, boots video, which you can see by linking below. Um, but I actually chose to ride the thickest ones, the extra large ones, which is kind of interesting because I don't really consider my feet to have high, high arches, but that's the way I like them to fit with those specific boots, which is actually pretty cool. Now into each of these boots and their, and their differences, I'm gonna start it out with uh, the Team 2. Now this is a, a real crowd pleaser. A lot of the team rides these. Uh, Scott Stevens has his own uh, specific colorway. This has a feel and flex rating of seven. It has a performance rubber style outsole with energy foam, which keeps it lightweight, uh, but the rubber does add a little bit of extra durability. There's over mold style panels on the lateral media side, upper and lower section, and of course that toe box that allows the material to last quite a bit longer. And of course, uh, there's a, a, a performance style uh, backstay. Um, and the backstay's 
something that you'll find kind of in all the boots, but I wanted to point this out because it just seems to be just a little bit more rugged than some other boots that are kind of gravitating around the Team 2 style category. Now, then we're going to step into uh, these two. Again, another level up, specifically with this elite level <laughs> liner. Uh, we have the Team 3, which I think is actually quite a bit more rugged than what you find in uh, the Mule Air, which is kind of interesting because it's not as premium of a price point. One thing that you'll note right away by just looking at it, uh, it looks kind of stealth. It's all black, similar to that, but a little bit more black with the outsole. Uh, the Team 3 actually has an adjustable flex to it that ranges from a 6 to an 8 because of these recoil style um, bars that you can place inside of them, uh, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, the Mule Airs also feature these recoil style bars, so you can change how they flex. If you if you want your boots to feel a little bit softer for a day, you can do that. You can make them feel stiffer. You can swap these in and out. You can ride both of them, one of them, doesn't matter. You, you actually just pick. It has a performance rubber style outsole that's quite a bit different than what you find in the Team 2. And kind of X style molding, very rugged style tread, and then a very hard molded rubber toe cap. And I like these because if you're in the backcountry trudging around, kicking into firm snow, this is gonna protect your foot. Uh, and then, of course, we have this thing. Now, this uh, Mule Air boot features tons of specs. There's like lots of stuff going on to it. And surprisingly enough, even though it's you know a premium high level boot, it still feels really good. I heat molded mine. I actually wore, wore them to lunch, which is kind of weird, I guess. And then I kept wearing them for like another half hour after I got back to the office. And uh, they, f they feel great. Um, they also feature, again, those, those uh, recoil style rods. You'll see that there's over mold paneling or articulation. And another cool thing that these other boots don't feature, it's called the tailored uh, lacing system. Now this tailored lacing system can be looped through the mid-step or it can be looped through this lower section over here which helps to draw your heel into the heel pocket. And then again with that tongue tension system, drawing that 3D molded tongue into the pocket along with the heel hold kit, you have a boot that's not going to allow your heel to move anywhere. So if you need performance, well, you know, the Mule Airs definitely have it. Now, uh, one thing that's really kind of cool and different than any of the other boots uh, that we have up here is actually this, the Michelin style rubber. This is the same manufacturer that uh, makes rubber tires and winter tires for, for your cars. Uh, but the cool thing about it is uh, Michelin actually designed the tread pattern, not 32, and that was part of their license and lease style agreement. Uh, overall though, this is a great piece, brand new to the 32 lineup. This is Nicholas Mueller's um, Pro Model boot. Again, the Mueller. Air. Then we have the, the Team 3, very rugged, lots of exoskeleton style overmolding, and then the well-rounded uh, Team 2. The Mueller Air has a feel and flex of the fi a 5 to 8, depending on if you put those recoil rods or flex rods in. And the same thing with the Team 3, which is actually 6 to 8, and then the Team 2, which is a 7. Uh, these are all really great big mountain backcountry boots, but you can still take them in the all mountain category. If you like stiff boots for park riding, hell, go do that if you want. You know, Scotty Stevens rides the Team 2 um, pretty much everywhere that he goes. So these are my picks. I absolutely love them, of course. Let me know what you think of them uh, for the backcountry big mountain style category. Uh, leave some comments and questions below. Let me know what you think of them. Uh, Subscribe to our channel right there. Check out more vids there and, and uh, buy the boots from us. We'll link them all below. If you see any of these boots at a lower price point elsewhere, we price match. Make sure to buy from us because uh, we like doing that stuff and providing awesome equipment for you and, of course, shooting these videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys on snow. Peace. Thanks for watching. 32 is one of my favorite brands that makes boots and they actually make shoes under the Soul Tech label. They have great fit, intuition, and a lot of different styles for any kind of terrain type or riding ability. Uh, make sure to check out 32inthehouse.com. I selected the links below in the description. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more vids there, and hopefully we'll see you guys on snow.